Hi all, John K here, how are you going? Ok, we're going to do a, a quick video tonight showing you a um, little, little uh, sniffer coil that I've got here. So this this little coil is, uh, you probably can't see in there, but in there there's lots and turns of very fine wire. This I got out of, um, it's a coil out of the motor that turns the glass plate in a microwave oven. So if you pull one of those apart you can get get one of these out or you can just make one yourself okay so we've got him hooked up to the top channel on the scope which at the moment is pretty much a flat line the bottom channel we've got hooked up to one of the transistors on this TED coiler here so that's going to be used as a reference to show you what we're going to sniff out with that little sniffer coil so you can see here he's our nice kind of H wave running there okay so first thing what we're going to show you is um, you know, I'm going to try and do this one handed so apologize for the camera moving around I'm going to take my sniffer coil first of all I'm just going to probe around one of these coils okay so what I'm going to do is take this guy probe him around the coil and I'm going to go up and down the coil like this okay so if we look at that on the scope and I only need to have this set for about 5 volts per division because this picks up a fair bit of current uh, very voltage okay so right now I'm on the south end of the coil if you like or the coil that's furthest the side of the coil furthest away from the rotor so if you can see that top waveform there see all these little ringing signals all over the place now you can see the most bottom spike if you like lines up with the time that the transistor shuts off and the coil discharges so that's that spike there and you can see other little ringing waves that coincide with when the coil finishes discharging and when the transistor switches on as well so I'm going to move this and I want to watch, want you to watch very closely at that first little spike right in the middle there. So I'm moving this towards the center of the coil. Okay, now we're at the center of the coil. So not much happening in the coil there at all. So that's pretty much your blotch wall right there. Okay. Now if we move this up, I'm moving it towards the rotor. You can see that spike now goes positive. Okay. Coinciding with the spike at the coil collapse. Can you see that there? And I'm going to move it back towards the back of the coil and that first spike goes negative. Okay, so that's very interesting to look at. Okay, next thing I want to show you is I'm going to take the same sniffer coil and I'll try and get a shot of this. This is one of my, uh, my Trojan batteries down here and I might grab the torch here because it's a little hard to see okay so what this battery shows here is it's a six cell battery and these these batteries are kind of nice because where these lines are in the battery indicates the cell so one cell two cells three four five six cells and the lines kind of represent the division between the two cells or where you would find the terminals that connect the cells together at the top of the battery so what I'm going to do with this demonstration is I'm going to grab my sniffer coil and I'm going to now run it along the side of the battery and keep an eye on the scope so I'll kind of describe and before I do this you need to crank up the uh, volts per division about half a volt per division seems to work pretty well with this little coil but you can adjust that okay so now I've got my little sniffer coil okay I've got him right over the negative post on the battery so you can see this spike here as I'm moving it there is going negative okay so now as I move it along the side of the battery you see we get to a point here Okay, I'll do that again, we get to a point here, nothing much happening on the waveform. Okay? Notice also the spike coincides with the coil collapse. Okay, getting not much there. Now if I were to show you where I was on the battery, 
probably can't see it too well but I'm pretty much where that first hole is so in between the two electrodes on the cell okay as I keep moving it along you see the spike goes positive okay again going positive and now I'm right at one of those lines I showed you that divides the cells apart on this battery okay I'll keep going on along I get to a null point again again right in the middle of the two electrodes of that cell continue going along we go negative again and I can do that right along the length of the battery as long as my scope wire is long enough without shorting anything out so I'll just do a quick run through so that's negative post okay first first cell second cell third cell notice this guy his amplitude's a bit, little bit lower so Les you're right that's probably a weak cell so if it, I'll do that again so starting from the start from the edge first second third fourth fifth and right up the other end so you can see the amplitude is actually greater this is right over the positive terminal of the battery now so it's greater at that than it is in the middle cells which is rather interesting whether that indicates weak cells or not I don't know so anyway there you go that's a little uh, interesting demonstration to show you the ringing wave that's hitting the battery as a result of the coil collapse on the Bedini Monopole School Girl Circuit. Thanks for watching. Cheers.